BTS Jungkook displays his impeccable dance skills with Le Seraphime for the perfect night challenge. Jungkook, known for his versatility and a match stage presence, demonstrating why he is considered one of the best performers in the K-pop industry. In the perfect night challenge, he effortlessly showcased his impeccable moves, earning praise from fans and netizens alike. K-netizens commented, So crazy, he's so darn good. I really love how he captures the details and nails any dance. His shy smile at the end is so adorable too. His dance pose is so crazy nice. He's so good at dancing. He's such a good dancer. Even girl groups can't match his charisma. It's impressive. I love this so much, Jungkook. Jungkook is really good at what he does. This is so crazy. I watched this video so many times in one sitting. And why is he so good? YouTube reporter Lee Jin Ho claims that actress Jeon Hai Jin almost fainted after hearing about her husband's drug allegations. On October 26, a video was uploaded to Lee Jin Ho's YouTube channel offering perceived insights. The clip, provocatively titled Shocking Exclusive, Jeon Hai Jin's actual reaction to Lee Sun Gyun's scandal has attracted widespread attention. Lee Jin Ho asserted, Lee Sun Gyun maintains his innocence regarding the drug allegations. If a police investigation determines no drug usage, he could potentially clear that charge. However, the moral quandary he is embroiled in could prove more damning. His propensity for private meetings will undoubtedly evoke moral judgment. Lee Jin Ho further explained, had Lee Sun Gyun been unmarried, public reception of the scandal might have been less critical. Nevertheless, Given his marital status, the situation becomes considerably distressing. The fact that he allegedly met the entertainment venue manager multiple times in private, coupled with his wife being well-known actress, Jeon Hai Jin, exacerbates the scandal. In the YouTube video, Lee Jin Ho described Lee Sun Gyun as a romantic and doting father, expressing that upon the outbreak of the scandal, he immediately discussed the matter with his wife, Jeon Hai Jin, and those closest to him. As for the impact on Jeon Hai Jin, her initial reaction to the unfolding events was shock and fear, according to her acquaintances. Said Lee Jin Ho, he continued, seeing the man she knows as a loving husband and a devoted father embroiled in scandal shocked her greatly that she nearly fainted. Furthermore, Lee Jin Ho surmised, the aftershocks of Lee Sun Gyun's actions continue to unfold, impacting not only his wife, Jeon Hai Jin, but also fellow professionals in his agency and his representatives. Over the last 23 years, he has positioned himself as a leading actor, and now, he, his wife, and their two children find themselves amidst the public spotlight and the consequences of his scandalous affair. Jessa reveals she bought her parents a house. As she sits down with Look Me Up to verify information about her on the web, Jessa showed her candid side and confirmed whether the information about her floating around online was accurate or not. On October 27, Jessa appeared on the YouTube show Look Me Up and searched herself on the web. One of the information she clarified was Jessie's parents live in Fort Lee, New Jersey, and they run a travel agency. Jessa explained, Not anymore. My family used to do it at Fort Lee, but now they do it at home. In the video, Jessa boasted, because their daughter Jessa earned money and bought her parents a house. Now they started their company there. The house has seven rooms. I'm so happy. I wanted to save up money and buy a house for my mom and dad. So bad rather than for myself. Because I don't see my mom and dad often I wanted to give happiness to them. So. I bought a house for them. She continued to read through her web profile. On the Korean wiki site NamUwiki and shared that she joined the agency More Vision, which is an agency established by J Park. I tried to start on my own after leaving P Nation. J Park contacted me. And since we had good chemistry, I decided to work together. I like challenges. And I wanted to try something different. So I joined More Vision. She discussed her pre-surgery days, saying, I was cute before the surgery. I was chubby as a baby for a while. I was heavily bullied. 
I lost weight during summer vacation and became a different person. I pierced my nose at that time. People say that Jessup pre-surgery is better. But I didn't have much plastic surgery. I have no regrets. I did use fillers for some time. But as I aged, I felt they no longer enhanced my appearance, so I had them dissolved. This includes my lips, without lip makeup. They look just as they originally did. Bam Bam has a funny reaction to Jess, suggesting him to freeze his sperm in the latest episode of Bam House. When Jessa sat down, she was amazed by how much Bam Bam had grown. She also shared how she enjoys these types of talk shows where there is no script. Just as she said, the two talked about different topics of unscripted conversations that would never be talked about. Unconventional talk shows. Bam Bam stated he wanted to ask Jess a question. She wasn't asked before and said, I want to ask a question you never heard before. He continued. I think you heard questions about marriage. Jess responded, I talked a lot about marriage. Now I want to get married. I want to give birth. I want to do that. And I need a man. But I don't have one. I talked about these things recently. I have to freeze my eggs now. When Jessa began to talk about this topic, Bam Bam seemed confused. He asked, freeze, that's possible. So you have to freeze the lower body. Jessa attempted to explain, as I get older. I'm not going to have enough eggs, so I'm freezing them in advance. Bam Bam was still confused and asked, and you can put it back also, for men. Jessa continued to advise, of course. You should freeze yours too. Let's say you're in your 30s, but Bam Bam replied in disbelief. Freeze my balls, making everyone laugh. Jessa clarified. No, not your balls but your sperm. Oh my god, they don't take your thing off. Jessa continued to have difficulty explaining the process, but added that she wants to have a baby in two years through in vitro fertilization. Jessa, who will turn 35 in December, shared. If I don't meet someone I like, then I'll have to freeze my eggs fast. Just like Sayuri, there's this thing IVF. I'm not good at explaining this in Korean.